Hey everyone, how's it going? Gavin here. So today I'm going to show you how you can quickly set up a cow.com scheduling system for your voice AI that really streams line, streams line the scheduling process for your inbound or outbound voice AI agents. Okay, so once you easily integrate cow.com with your retail agents, you'll be able to, or they will be able to schedule appointments very easily and when you're doing outreach or if you're taking inbound calls right customers come call in prospects call in and if they want to schedule an appointment to talk more about learn more about your services right this integration makes that super easy um, in just a few minutes you can get set up so let's get started so first you want to make sure of course you have a cow.com account set up it's free all right they have a ton of features for free which is really awesome and this automation can be set up with a free cow.com account. Okay, so make sure you got your account set up. Now we're gonna head over to retail and get our voice agent set up to schedule appointments with cow.com. Okay, so we have a prompt here. And what we wanna do is first take note that what we're gonna be dealing with is are called dynamic variables, okay? So what are dynamic variables? These are variables and functions that you can set within your retail voice agent prompts that can recognize information, retrieve da data, and call functions during and after the call, okay? And retrieve post-call data ana analysis. But we won't go into that now. I've gone into that in a previous video. Today, we're gonna work on giving you a brief overview of function calling and how you can easily set up a appointment scheduling voice agent. So you want to take note is that I like to really emphasize at the beginning of my prompts that to make sure the voice agent uh, executes all the dynamic variables properly because sometimes if your prompts get a little too long, uh, it starts to forget things. And there's a number of workarounds for that, including making your prompts nice, uh, concise, and tight, um, Making, making sure it recognizes things is very important and also multi prompts within retail, okay, which is super cool. And I'll leave that for another video, but essentially, multi prompts are just sort of route trees and step by step instructions for your prompts. So it's, it's hard, almost impossible for them to forget things like this. But we won't worry about that right now. Right now, we're just going to worry about appointment scheduling. So it's important that you run, this is a built in function dynamic variable within retail so every voice agent will have this running check time so what this does is when the voice agent runs this in the background of the call right or at the beginning of the call in this case this will retrieve the correct date and time for so the the time it is now when the call is taking place because it's very important that it has this when it starts when it goes to schedule an appointment because if the person says I want to schedule an appointment for tomorrow at 4, right? There's no way for the voice agent to know when tomorrow is or what the context of tomorrow is, right? Unless it runs check time first. So it's very important because if you don't have your agents run this, the scheduling is going to be messed up. They're going to schedule it for the wrong day or they're going to say, no, uh, there's no time available. You really want to make sure and put this at the beginning of the call. You can even put it later on too to make sure it has that time, okay? Next. We're going to want to go over here and these are the functions that are already pre uh, defined for retail so you don't have to uh, custom build these they're ready to go let me see cal.com here okay and we have to have cal transfer here if you need to transfer to a live human which is really convenient but we're going to go to check calendar availability because this is the first step in the booking process right you got to check the calendar so two things we need here okay the API key from cow.com account and the event type. Okay, that's the that's the event, the specific uh, type of appointment you want to set. So let's head, head over to cow.com and get these numbers. So to find your API key in cow.com, you just want to come down here to settings. And real simple, API key. All right, and then we're just going to want to add a new key. Name this key test key. I like to put it in nevers expires. You can put an expiration date and then hit save. Copy. And then 
we head back over and insert that. Okay. Next, what we want to do is get our event type ID. And it's really easy to find that, all right? Head back over here. We head over to back to our bookings. Okay. And then up here in the URL, right after your event types is your number. Not the question mark, just these numbers, okay? And then you just simply copy that. And paste it into here all right and then you can change your time zone for whatever yours is okay then you hit save and then all you need to do is also add book calendar and then Boom. All right, so these variables are set and these functions are ready to be called. Okay, so it's also important to note that just how it has up here in these double curly brackets, okay, that's how all um, variables in your prompts are going to look like. So whether it's retrieving uh, dynamic information after the call ends or calling functions. This is how the prompt and the agent knows when to call functions. Okay, and you can see here, I have them already set. Check a calendar availability, right? Check calendar availability. And then once it's done that, book appointment. Book appointment, okay? So this is when, so now this voice agent should be all set up to book appointments. So let's give it a test. Hello, my name is Gavin, and I'm a voice AI expert. How may I help you today? Hey, Gavin, I was hoping to uh, book an appointment. Of course. I'd be happy to help you book an appointment. Could you let me know your preferred date and time? If you have a specific time range in mind, feel free to share that as well. Uh, let's do tomorrow at uh, 12 p.m. Let me check if tomorrow at 12 p.m. is available for you. Great news. Tomorrow at 12 p.m. is available. Could I get your first and last name as well as your email address so I can confirm the appointment for you? Please spell your email out letter by letter to ensure accuracy. Yes, my first name is Gavin. My last name is Stroll, S-T-R-O-H-L. You got that? Got it, Gavin Stroll. Now, could you please spell out your email address for me letter by letter so I can make sure it's accurate? Yes, my email is Gavin at H Y P E R A U T O M A T E dot A I. Thank you. Just to confirm, your email is G A V I N at H T E R A U T O M A T E dash dot dash a dash I. Is that correct? Can you say that last part again, but slower? Of course. The last part is h dash v dash p dash e dash r dash v dash u dash t dash o dash m dash a dash t dash e dash dot dash a dash i. Does that look correct to you? That looks good. Booking the appointment for you now. Your appointment has been successfully booked for tomorrow at 12 p.m. You should receive a confirmation email shortly. If you have any other questions or need to reschedule, that's it. Thank you. Looking forward. All right. So you can see the he booked the appointment. He heard my email correctly, and the appointment got booked. And I will note that it is very important that you like how he was spelling the email out. It's very important that you do this, okay? Especially with this AI in its earliest stages, um, when people call in. You know, some people mumble, they talk slow, they talk fast, right? You really want the AI to repeat them back their spelling and have them spell it so you get that email right, right? Or they're not going to get that confirmation, of course, okay? I hope this video helped you guys understand how to easily 
integratecal.com to schedule appointments for your voice agents. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.